My dudes, what's going on? Welcome to World 4. I hope everyone is enjoying the content or working away towards it. I know you can do it. Today we're doing an introduction into World 4. I'm not going to be spoiling anything more than the town hub. I want to leave as much magic of discovery in this game until a later date when I do more in-depth guides where I overly explain like I usually do. So to make sure to hit that sub and the bell to stay notified and ahead of the curb for future updates. With that all said, let's get into it. So to start off, let's talk about how to get into World 4. Quite simple, really. Kill Cheezor, it can be normal or chaotic, your choice, to obtain his purple gem, and hand it in to Carpenter Cardinal in the World 3 town, and you're in. You'll be greeted with four different sections in World 4. It seems overwhelming, but I'll be able to simplify it really easily. Before you do anything, go to the top of the map until you see Gobo, do not touch any skills until it prompts you to do so. Start doing his quest line, and it's about five quests. This is a very good tip because you can't enter the portal until you've completed his quest line, and it also stops from time gaining yourself. I'm not going to tell you how to do the quests, that's for your own discovery. And at the end, if you're still tuning in, I'll give you some quick tips and tricks to get an early boost in your World 4 grind. Now, let's give a quick overview of what the skills do, and by the way, Maestro's skillage damage is not affected by these World 4 skills, so don't expect a damage nerf. Let's start off with Laboratory. Now, the Laboratory will be the most basic skill of World 4. XP for this skill is character bound, so each character has to level up stasis on their own. You upload your character at the top, and it lets you create a line to start at the prism and gets longer the higher level you get. You level up your character when he is in stasis for this skill. Upload more characters to get the line longer, like connect the dots. And the objective is to hit one of the squares and those characters will give a buff to your account. And you can get multiple, but the characters that are uploaded to the stasis cannot do any actions other than staying in the stasis. If you leave stasis, those buffs will go away as well. There is also the console on the other tab that unlocks with levels. We'll get into that in a later video. Let's move on to breeding. This skill is account bound, so if one character has level 8, everyone is level 8. Arena or infinite battle is available at level 8 for nice count rewards. Over time, eggs will incubate, will give you the choice on what species you want to breed. It will use one of the eggs and give you a chance to breed the next tier up, but it is a percent chance. But it can upgrade chance through the gene splicer bought in the World 4 shop next to the portal at the top but you must have the required level in breeding to get the splicing upgrade in order to use the gene splicer. Up to our knowledge, there is two types and multiple traits. Red background for combat species and green background for forager species. The white text at the bottom is the power level. The forager species will help you get spices for cooking and some spices require a combat species to hit a damage threshold in order to collect that required spice. You can unlock these by doing a fight but you can attempt these fight as much as you like until beaten. So experiment. Ben's yard is a little bit more complicated and will be in a future video. We are still doing a bit of testing ourselves. Before we move on, let's do a quick overview of gene splicing. To get gray genes, you must trash your selected species in the database to obtain those genes. Gray genes are used for upgrading your stations. To get green genes, have the splicer equipped on your character that you want to go splice with. Go to any world one and AFK there. Once you come back from AFK, your AFK rewards will give you the option to splice genes at the top of the reward window. This will destroy all materials that were rewarded in exchange for genes. And finally, cooking. Cooking is a character bound skill, so each level up individually. You have two areas, the dining room table and the kitchen. Let's start with the kitchen. Remember those spices we were foraging for? Now this is where we use them. Click on our recipe, and put one or more spices to cook and make a dish. After a set amount of time, you will receive the dish on the dining room table. Add different spices that you have and will show the silhouette of options you can make. So if it's blacked out, that means a new dish can be discovered. You can buy more kitchen space with in-game currency. And the dining room table shows the array of gourmet dishes you have made. And if you click on the menu, it will give you a list of made dishes to upgrade them because they give specific stats. And just like that, you're in world four with knowing the basics. Now let's give you guys a couple of tips and give you a nice head start on this World 4 experience. In World 4 shop, make sure to buy the pile of processor chips and strung jewels every day. You need three chips and seven strung jewels 
which will unlock other mechanics in the laboratory later. Also, stamps are available for purchase at the very bottom, so make sure to pick those up. Also, buy multiple splicers. You're going to need a total of five splicers to get the next upgrade of the splicer. So if you want them on all characters, buy, buy, buy. In construction, the new Trapper Drone and Automata Arm is ready to construct. If you've gotten that far, makes life a dream. You want to upgrade those as quickly as possible. Platinum cards have been unlocked, so you can farm cards even after getting 3-star for better perks. But also can get these upgrades from the Gem Shop, but they must be 3-star before upgrading. There are also 5 new Alchemy Bubbles for each cauldron, so start brewing. Also, vials to test out the new World 4 materials for a new vial chance. Once again, welcome to World 4. I hope it was everything you anticipated. I know I'm more than happy with it. Comment below and tell me what you think about World 4 so far. Make sure to hit that sub and bell and like the video if you want the quickest way to help you on your World 4 journey. And it also makes me a very happy man. Check me also on Twitch. Theory crafting, having a laugh, running a guild, and learning how to bring the best educated content we can bring you. So come check me out. Anyways, tune in for the next Eidolon video. Stay safe, happy grinding, and peace out.